What did we learn from this autopsy? We learned that Manuel died from multiple gunshot wounds. We knew that already. Manuel was shot so many times and by different firearms that the tracks of the bullets running through the body converge and intersect. That means that the same parts of his body were shot by different officers. The autopsy identifies 14 separate gunshot injuries. Manuel was shot in the head through his right eye, in the left upper chest, in the abdomen, in his arms, and in their legs. The hands were all shot up. According to the autopsy, the wounds indicate that Manuel's left arm and hand were raised when Manuel was shot, with the palm facing the front of the body. Manuel's right forearm and right hand were also shot. The gunshot to the head would have killed them instantly, but probably, in the words of the report, not before they were able to raise their hands and arms in front of their body, like that. Manuel's legs were shot with shotgun slugs and probably buckshot, leading to the conclusion that two different shotguns were fired at Manuel before they died. The wounds to the legs are consistent with Manuel having been shot while they were sitting down cross-legged. Manuel was likely shot by individuals, according to the report, standing in front of them relatively close. Manuel was looking death in the face, hands raised when killed. Manuel was looking death in the face hands raised when killed. We still do not know what happened in the forest on the morning of January 18th. We do not stand here today telling you that we know what happened. This second autopsy is a snapshot of what happened, but it is not the whole story. What we want is simple. GBI, meet with the family and release the investigative report. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.